Doctor, 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 doctor. You are fake news. The tape video of, of uh, Costa? What are you talking about? All that was, nobody manipulated it. Give me a break. See, that's just dishonest reporting. All that is is a close-up. See, that's just, that is just dishonest reporting. I watched that. I heard that last night. They made it close up. They showed it close up. When you say doctor, you're a dishonest guy because it wasn't doctored. They gave a close up view. That's not doctoring. Feels pretty good when the president of the United States has your back. Doctoring, the act of making different in order to deceive, tamper with, falsify, or adulterate. Converting and processing a video isn't tampering or falsifying. That's not doctoring. That's not doctoring. This is doctoring. They sped up Jim Acosta's hand movement to make it look more violent. Yeah, here's the screenshot from the edit in Sony Vegas proving it was not sped up. If it was sped up, there'd be wavy lines in the track. They're on, because it wasn't sped up. And you see, like, they it sped up his hand. Yeah, I sped up his hand so much that literally two minutes before you said that, you played a clip where his hand moved even quicker. But I sped it up, okay. New York Times, the video was sped up. Buzzfeed, there's no evidence that the video was deliberately sped up. Give me a break. Here's the comparison of the doctored video with the original. It looks virtually identical. Does anything here look like it was done to tamper, falsify, or adulterate? No. Because it wasn't doctored. That's not doctoring. Elizabeth Loftus says the videos are, quote, totally different. Really? Watch the comparison again. Do these two videos look totally different to you? Or is Elizabeth Loftus a liar? The part where he says, pardon me, ma'am, they cut the audio out. Yeah, there's no audio in the entire clip, Jimmy. Because the original was a GIF image. And GIF images don't have audio. Because it's not a video file. It's an image file. That's not doctoring. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. Yes, he did touch her. It's right there on tape. The tape that you literally just played. You know, I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her as they're alleging. Definition of touch. Come into or be in contact with. Did Jim Acosta touch her? I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her. I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her. I didn't... Uh, put my hands on her or touch her. But people watching Wednesday night's edition of Anderson Cooper wouldn't know whether Acosta touched her or not because they didn't play the part where Acosta touched her. So I'm the one being accused of editing a video to mislead. Then CNN takes the very same video and edits out the part where he touches her. The only thing being doctored here is your narrative. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. To discredit a reputable journalist, she's the White House press secretary. She should be fired for that. Yeah, you literally just lied to millions of people about the content of a videotape. That's just a lie. Now you're saying Sarah Sanders should be fired for lying about the content of a videotape, which she didn't. You should be fired. Remember, these are the same mouthpieces that spent weeks claiming Brett Kavanaugh a assaulted a woman. Yet when there's clear evidence of Jim Acosta at least accosting a woman, they all suddenly develop temporary blindness. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. Goes and <laughs> that is terrible. Yeah. Or it would be if it weren't fake news. The fact that the White House press secretary is promoting this doctored video is reprehensible. Yeah, it's so doctored, Stephen. You literally played the same clip two minutes before saying this. Again, it's not doctored. It lost a couple of frames after conversion and compression. That's not doctoring. That's not doctoring. It's zoomed in and slowed down. Every single one of your lamestream fucking media firms at some point or another has aired a story where they've done this. That is not doctoring. It's not misrepresenting the fundamental content of the video. It's simply focusing on the important element of that video and slowing it down so people can get a better idea of what happened. That's not film doctoring. Oh, and what's this? First, Vice reports that it's a doctored video. Then they talk to two separate forensic experts who say... It's not doctored. Forensic expert, there is no evidence the White House video of Jim Acosta was doctored. Hani Farid, who studies digital forensics, human perception, and image analysis at the University of California, Berkeley, told Motherboard, which is Vice, that he does not think the video was doctored. 
though he agreed that the entire video was, of course, slowed down and zoomed in to focus on the moment of physical contact, he does not see any evidence to suggest that it was selectively edited to exaggerate Acosta's motion. Because, again, it's not doctored. That's not doctoring. I can't speak to the origin of the video except to say I know where it started. It started right in that room over there when everyone saw it. It doesn't matter who puts it up, who posts it. It doesn't matter the speed at which the video is seen. It doesn't matter the angle. The question is, at the core of this, and this is why Jim Acosta lost his uh, credential, did he touch her or not? The video is clear he did. He did. Donald Trump Jr. So are we just supposed to act like the media didn't completely make up and spread an insane conspiracy theory about the White House doctoring a tape? How's that disappear from the news so fast? We've truly entered some kind of delusional dystopia when to distract from Acosta's behavior, the media launches a giant hoax claiming one, that Acosta never touched her when he clearly did, and two, that a video which loses a couple of frames or has frames added because of compression, they can't even make their minds up which it is, means that it was a doctored video. That's not doctoring. It wasn't a doctored video. They call me a conspiracy theorist while themselves promulgating a monumental conspiracy theory. CNN, Washington Post, TechCrunch, Vox, New York Times, NBC, and hundreds of other publications, all breathlessly asserted, with zero fact-checking whatsoever, and none of them even reached out to me for comment, that I, the White House, or someone else had doctored a video that wasn't doctored, just so they could portray Trump as deceitful and rash for suspending Acosta's press access. The only deceitful and rash parties in this entire situation were you. You literally claimed Acosta never touched her when it's right there on tape. Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. That's just a lie. I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her. I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her. I didn't. Uh, put my hands on her or touch her. Why do you think your trust is plummeting? Why do you think people don't like you when this is what you're willing to stoop to time and time again? The tape wasn't doctored, the tape wasn't misleading. I didn't manipulate it. The only manipulation here was you lot lying to and manipulating your own audience.